Mixbook.com is a free web tool tool that allows you to create a virtual scrapbook. In the end, you're given the option to purchase what you've made. However, you can also embed your creation on a website of your choice, such as digitalexperiences.wikispaces.com. One of the great things about Mixbooks is you don't have to download any software. After you sign up for Mixbook, I've already signed up, so I'm going to log in. Go to the Create tab, and it's going to prompt you for a title for your project. I'm going to title my project The Flowers. The only thing you really have to do is give it a title, description, and tags are unnecessary. I'm going to give it a category, though. I'm going to put it in Nature, because obviously flowers are part of nature. It's going to ask you who you want it to be viewable by. Everyone, only your friends, or people who you invite. I'm going to say only my friends can view it. It's also going to ask you if you want to add any contributors. Contributors would be like your students or your friends who may have gone on the same trip as you who took similar photos who could add to your photo album. I'm not going to add any contributors. Next thing it's going to ask you about are the themes. I'm going to go with classic mixed book, but you could just go with a blank canvas, or you could go with Valentine's Day, a European backpacking tour, things like that. This will help you later on so you don't have to give your pictures backgrounds. So it will only take a minute. Next step is going to be uploading your photos. You have a couple of options for uploading your photos. You could upload them def directly from your computer to Mixbook. You could upload from Facebook, Flickr, Yahoo, SmugMug, Photobucket, or Picasa. I already have my photos on Mixbook. I have a couple pictures from New York City, so I'm going to take some of them. And I have some pictures of Flickr. And I'm just going to select them to show you how you can add from multiple sources at the same time. Then you X out, and here are all my photos. Now, it's really easy to use. You click and drag. What I like about Mixbook is it automatically resizes and crops your photos to the right size and shape of the photo. I'm going to name it The Flowers made by Carrie. Now I'm done with my cover. I move on to page one. I want this photo. Isn't it pretty? I'm done with this page. I move on to page two and three. I want this photo, I want this photo. Click, drag, click, drag. That's all you do the entire time. Now if you decide that you don't want this background, you could go into backgrounds, you could go into layouts. If you decide you don't like this photo layout, in layouts it gives you the option to cut down the number of pages, uh, number of photos on a page. If you decide you have too many photo pages, just click on the page, remove page, that's it. If you want more photo pages, you want to duplicate a page, that's fine too. Click on duplicate page. Really simple. Really simple to use. When you're done, or if you want to stop, if you want to stop working, you go to save. When you're done, you go to publish gives you two choices. You can either order a printed out copy, again, like I said before, you do have the option of paying, or you can publish and share. I'm going to go with publish and share. Now mine's telling me it has some errors, but that's just because I left some things blank. Obviously when you're working on your final product, you're not going to leave things blank. It goes over my information again. I only want my friends to be able to view it and I want to publish my mix book. Now this will take a minute. Now it gives me two choices to turn the pages. I can either turn it like this, or down here I can scroll through. I can also change the size that I view it in, 
and then down here at the bottom it gives me the embed code. I hope you love Mixbook as much as I do.